Now, let us learn about water pollution. Air and water are the two important resources for our survival. It is said that the history of human civilization has developed on the banks of rivers for sustaining itself because water is an important resource for human development. After the establishment of industrial revolution, water resources began to pollute. Water pollution is another hazard mainly caused by the activities of human beings. Now, let us discuss about the causes and effects of water pollution by considering a case study of Patancheru. Patancheru is a suburban mandal headquarters located in Medak district. It is situated at a distance of about 25 kilometers from Hyderabad. Patancheru is the major industrial center for Telangana state. It is one of the most polluted areas in India. Almost 14 villages were badly affected by pollution-related diseases like cancer, respiratory diseases and heart diseases caused by a cocktail of poisons in air, water and on land. Different industries present in and round Patancheru including chemical industries, pesticide units, steel rolling industries, distilleries release dangerous pollutants like chlorine, hydrogen sulphide which enter the atmosphere. Most of the agricultural lands remain unused. The people who depend upon agriculture and animal husbandry in those areas became helpless. Most of these people have joined as workers in the factories. By observing all these situations, the Supreme Court of India has passed interim orders like Flow of sewage from industries into air and water bodies should be stopped immediately. Supply drinking water to the affected villages of Patancheru. Rectification of CETP. Providing medical care for pollution victims. Exercising continuous caution in the discharge of sewage. Discharging of treated effluents into sewage lines. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here, let us perform an activity to observe the smell, color and pH values of different water samples. Click each tab to know more. To observe different pollutants present in different water samples. perform this activity, the following materials are required. Glass tumblers, water samples from tap, pond, river, well, lake, red, blue, litmus papers. Precautions. Carefully observe the changes in the color of litmus papers. Wash your hands each time with soap. Don't taste any water sample. Collect water samples from tap, pond, river, well and lake. Pour each into separate glass containers. 
compare their smell, color and pH values. pH of water samples can be determined by using litmus paper. Note, if blue litmus paper turns to red color, then it indicates that water sample is acidic in nature and if red litmus turns to blue, then it indicates that the water sample is basic in nature. Record the observations in the given tabular column for different water samples. The table on the screen gives information about the smell, color and pH values of different water samples. From the experiment, we learned that the color, smell and pH values are different for different water samples.